mambo vipi mtazamaji wangu popote pale unazidi kufuatilia double updates mimi na tumai unaendelea vizuri kabisa ni ite Mr Double J na kama kawaida hii hapa ni ulimwengu wa siasa hatimaye Wigadi Gashagwa amewajibu timu Ndindi Nyoro lakini pia vile vile na Nyoro mwenyewe kwa kitu ambacho walikizungumza juzi kati hapa kwamba mwaka na saba Mm, rigadhi kama rigadhi anatakiwa kumwachia Ndindi Nyoro and uh, kwa sababu tuna connect faster faster inamaanisha kwamba mwaka 2032 huyu ambaye atam replace Rigadhi Gashagwa 2027 ambaye ni Ndindi Nyoro kama wanavyosema then ndo mtu ambaye atapeperusha bendera ya UDA kama bado wataendelea kuwa pamoja mwaka na 2032 so ripoti ni kama imefikia Rigadhi Gashagwa na kama kawaida yake ameizungumzia na amesema kwamba nyinyi nyinyi hiyo mchezo ambao umeanza acha <laughs> anyways i think nina uh, video clip hapa uh, inabidi ni wacheze hii video clip muone ni kitu kipi ambacho anakizungumza Rigedi Gashagwa kuhusu hawa watu ambao anasema atolewe mwaka 2027 na na tazama and let me say for the avoidance of doubt i have only one focus as regards the Gashagwa deputy president and no other i am focused in only one thing assisting president william ruto to succeed and nothing else hii ingine wengine wanafuata mambo ingine i'm not there mimi niko hapo hata mkipiga kelele gadi mnajaribu to demoralize me juzi wanaenda wanapanga wanatoa pesa kuna watu wanaitwa info truck ati waseme deputy president amepewa e atidioni kuvero mimi mimi ni chuba ya zamani niko pale hata <laughs> wakijaribu nini unajua watu wanaslete maneno ati wanitoe kwa hiyo kazi atidioni aanze kujibishana na watu ati nianze kutafuta ati wabunge ati kuwaita kujeni mnisaidi mimi am focused and i cannot lose focus and in this administration i have no other agenda my agenda is only one and none and no other to make sure that i assist president william ruto succeed in the economic transformation of this republic that means we talk about those who wale those who want to succeed the president william ruto mwendele sisi we want him to succeed those who want to succeed him mutukubalie we allow him to succeed then you can succeed him si iko namna hiyo so we must allow him to succeed na mimi nauliza sasa nyinyi vijana william ruto amechaguliwa juzi mwaka moja he has nine years to go you are talking about succeeding him mnataka kuridhi mnataka kukawa mzee akiwa hai surely you people what is what is you young people what is the problem president has just been elected sidi mwaka moja ati watu naanza kusema ati ni mimi ati huyu ndio ata succeed yet 2032 kwanza it is disrespectful to the president hiyo ni kukosa heshima kwa kiongozi sasa kiongozi amechaguliwa tu just last year ako hapa ndio ana settle down kupanga panga kazi wewe unaanza kusema ati mimi in nine years in thirty years ndani anakuambia utakuwa uhai how do you know nine years a very long time number two, it is also very being very insensitive to the people of Kenya the people of Kenya today do not want to hear about positions and elections wanataka kusikia barabara itatengenezwa siku gani stima itaunganishwa lini si ndio tutapata maji lini that is the conversation i want to ask our leaders please especially in kenya kwanza please let's focus to msaidi a president a succeed and if you have ambition and you want to succeed him which is okay and it is fair and there's no problem si mngoje kwanza achaguliwe tena 2027 then akichachaguliwa muanze kupanga vile mnaweza ridhi ye but for now surely is being very rude to the people of Kenya is being very insensitive to the people of Kenya to talk about succession let us talk about service delivery 
hiyo ndio kitu ya maana sahi tumekubaliana wakati abomet ama nyinyi mnataka watu waongee mambo ya 2032 that is a topic that is a, a, should never be anywhere in any discussion let us focus tumsaidie rais afaulu mambo ya huko mbele wale mnataka kupanga muende mupange huko but for now mawaziri na mimi MPs let us all focus on assisting the president to succeed because he must succeed in the transformation of our economy and the transformation of the people of Kenya. <laughs> Anaitwa uh, Rigiji. <clears throat> so Rigiji amenyosha maelezo na anakuambia wewe team Bibinyoro na Ndindinyoro mwenyewe. Unajua mimi kitu ambacho kinanifanya niamini kwamba Ndindinyoro hata na yeye anatafuta hiyo nafasi kwa sababu tunatakiwa tuna kuielewa kwa angles tofauti kwa sababu ango ya kwanza huenda labda anasukumwa ndindi nyoro na, e, na na watu fulani uh, kwenye muungano e, kwenye Kenya kwanza yao hiyo but on the other side inawezekana ni yeye anataka na ndio maana anatuma anatumana so mpaka sasa hivi ni siku mbili tatu zimepita and uh, na yeye kama ndini nyoro amekuwa na mikutano tu but haja address chochote kuhusiana na hiki ambacho kinaendelea you understand but ukimwona ukimsikiliza vizuri ile gadhi ya utagundua kwamba kweli kitu kinaendelea hapa kwa sababu kama sio kweli ye mwenyewe angesema ah nimeona watu wanaanza kusema mimi na ndugu yangu nyoro tunapa wewe umesikiliza mwanzoni amesemaje nyinyi vijana obvious ukiangalia rigadhi mwangalie nyoro kijana ni ndindi ni nyoro. So hapa ame address kabisa ndindi nyoro tena direct kwamba nyinyi vijana mko hapa iti kuangalia wewe oh, si nini nini. But cha ajabu ni kwamba the same same rigadhi ambaye mbona namuonea huruma rigadhi by the way. The same same rigadhi ambaye leo hii anasema tu focus na kazi. Oh tu focus na nini? Ndio mtu ambaye amekuwa kiimba hapa. Kwamba oh mi, miaka mitano haitoshi. Tu tumuongeze Ruto miaka zingine tano eti ndio zikuwe kumi eti miaka mitano hakuna kitu ambacho mtu anaweza kafanya so yeye wenzake wakizungumzia <laughs> 2020 i mean 2020 uh, i mean not 2020 but 2032 ama 2027 anaona ni kama hawa watu hawajui anachokizungumza so yeye yeah, akizungumza inakuwa right but wengine wakizungumzia anaona ni kama hapana sio kama unaona utofauti ambao upo hapo wale si wanasema 2027 ichukuliwe nafasi yake na ndini nyoro. N2032 kama inawezekana basi nyoro bado awe ndo rais. But sasa yeye anaona eh watu bwana mnatakiwa kufocus na Ruto ndo amechaguliwa juzi. Oh si nini nini. Yeye mwenyewe ndo anasemaga hapa. Oh Ruto tunaomongeza miaka sio ngapi? Mbona semaje eti Ruto tumemchagua juzi kwa hiyo tuone kama mambo yataingiana ndani ya miaka mitano ambayo wamepewa sasa hivi si eti kwamba wakati sasa moto unawaka unawaka kwa upande wako eti sasa unaona ni kama ai haifai kwenda hivyo lakini inapoaka huko aa yaani si kwamba kwako kukikaa eti ndo 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 mwanga unaonekana sasa kwako ndo unaona kuzuri ikiwaka sehemu nyingine ah hapana sasa haifai kwenda hivyo na it's just the same thing eh so manrigi bana mmefanya manrigi amepanic and uh, kitu kimoja ambacho naweza nikawaambia ni kwamba tarajini kama kweli anaitafuta hiyo nafasi ndindi nyoro na namna ambavyo inasukumwa kwa sababu the way inasukumwa nyoro atakuwa anajua a to z kinachoendelea yeah that's the truth nyoro anaweza akawa anajua hapa huyu jamaa nitapambana naye mpaka mwisho but other people wana feel ni kama nyoro wangetulia oh wengine wana feel ah rigadhi bado wafai So hapa stories ni, ni nyingi sana sui sui atafanyaje uh, but hiyo ni, ni ni Kenya kwanza yao wacha wafanye wanavotaka but again uh, ukitaka kujua story ni serious hautasikiliza hapa sasa uwezo hapa Ruto hizi akaingililia yeah true yani hapa CVT oh, huko uh, 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 kuna endaje si hapa sasa hautamsikiliza kabisa William Samoe Ruto eti akizungumzia eti wewe we unasemaje eti wewe unasema eti uta sui succession sui ya nini hautampata hii ni vita ya Mount Kenya hiyo hawezi akaingililia kabisa in fact atakani kama hajawahi kusikiliza hiyo story but i think fry yake pia ni kuona hawa watu wana, wanapelekana hivyo kwa sababu na yeye pia huenda kuna mtu anamtafuta au kuna mtu anamtaka kati ya hawa wawili 
Eh sema Rigathi naye amekwama na kukuambia Rigathi sio kama atapata hata hiyo sympathy. Unajua watu watamcheka tu. Unajua kuna kuna sehemu sasa ikifika watu wakuonee huruma. Kwa sababu yeye mwenyewe ndo alijaribia mwenyewe. Mpaka leo watu hawamuonagi anafaa. Yaani watu wanamuonaga ni kama hafai I mean. Yaani pata wanamwangalia hivi they are like ah huyu hapana. Kwa sababu tu yani, yani vitu ambavyo amekuwa akivifanya. Angekuwa anaongea hivi toka zamani yeye watu wangesema fresh. Mbona kama mtu mzuri tu mbona mna mnataka but yeye ndo alijaribia kwa hiyo aina ya siasa ambayo amekuwa akifanya huko Mount Kenya. So hata wale wakikuja kumgeuka acha wamgeuke tu hiyo ni shauri yake. Eh yeye mwenyewe alitakiwa kutumia kili kwamba bwana nimepata hii nafasi tena kwa backdoor. Hizi ndio zile nafasi za backdoor yani unapewa na mlango ya nyuma. Sasa badala angeitumia ange tu vizuri aache vita nyingi sio kufukuzana na uhuru sio nani huko kusii kutumia si polisi waende wapige ya kina nani ah, angechapa tu kazi vitu vinge flow tu sasa naona sasa hivi watu wanamgeuka wanamgeukia wana, wana, wana wana ah shauri yake yeye mwenyewe anajua atafanyaje maoni yako ni gani hebu niachie hapo chini kwa sehemu ya comments lakini kikubwa zaidi subscribe ili uendelee kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati lakini kwa wale ambao wanajiuliza wanaweza kan support uh, vp there is no problem details so wanaziweka hapa kwenye screen kwa hiyo uh, support yote mimi nitashukuru sana ndugu yangu sio Tukutane kwenye video ambayo inafuata bye bye